Welcome to the full Raycast for Windows Getting Started Guide. You're about to discover a whole new way of using your computer. It's something that's been available for Mac users for a long time, but that we've completely redesigned for Windows. And the public beta is out now, available for everyone. At its core, Raycast is a launcher. Think the start button, but on steroids. A new start, if you will. That means that you can use Raycast to launch apps, run commands, and change settings on your computer. But you can also do so much more than that. You can install Raycast by going to our website or from the Windows Store. The links to both options are in the description below. Just download the installer and run it like with any other app. The first time you open Raycast, you will see the onboarding screen, which will guide you in the beginning. And if this is your first time using Raycast, I highly encourage you to actually go through the onboarding. Once that's done, we're ready to go. You can press Alt Space, which is the default hotkey to launch Raycast, or your own hotkey in case you've already customized it in the last step of the onboarding. The most basic thing you can do with Raycast is launch applications. Every time you fire the Raycast hotkey, a search bar will pop up. We call it the root search. And from there, you can search for what you want and press enter to open it. By the way, this works for games as well, even if they've been installed by Steam or the EA store. You can launch Raycast from anywhere in your system with your Raycast hotkey. Mine is old space, bam, the root search. You can also do calculations. You just have to type what you want into it. This includes basic math operations, conversions, and even date calculations. From the root search, you can also directly control certain aspects of your computer, like enabling or disabling Bluetooth, for example, or have quick access to Windows settings by just searching for them say, to change your desktop wallpaper. You can also search for files in your system. Just fire your Raycast hotkey and type what you're looking for. In fact, to go even deeper into file searching, there's a dedicated command just for that. Just search for search files and you get into the Raycast file explorer where you can browse through your whole system. A quick tip is you can filter by file names by starting a search with a dot or by folders by typing a slash. Just like with applications before, here inside the command or on the root search, you see that if I press enter, the default is to open the file. But you can always do more with Raycast. So it's time we learn about the action panel. While I have my search result highlighted, I can press Ctrl K to open this bottom right panel. Here, you'll find a lot more options to interact with whatever is selected. With a file like this one, I can search for copy, for example, and it will be added to my clipboard. Then the Raycast window will disappear, so you can go ahead and paste the file into whatever app you need to with the regular Ctrl V. The action panel is always there under Control K. And just by looking through it, you will find lots of little hidden features in Raycast. For all of these things, you can create two types of shortcuts, aliases and hotkeys. You can do this by going to Raycast settings and there's a few ways to get there. If you open Raycast and search for settings, you will get to the settings window. Also, at any point, you can press Control comma to open it directly. Here, you can modify all sorts of details of your Raycast experience, and you'll quickly realize that that's a lot. So there's an even better way to get there, which is directly from the command that you want to configure. So now let's search for Edge, for example. And instead of pressing Enter, we'll do Control K, and here we can search for Configure Application. Now to show you how aliases and hotkeys work, First, let's create them. On Edge, I can add an alias like browser, and to create a hotkey, I can go here and perform any key combination. So let's do Alt-E, E for Edge. Now, 
every time from anywhere on my system, I press Alt E on my keyboard, Raycast will launch Edge. And what about an alias? If I open the root search and search for browser, you can see that I get Edge as a first result and I can open it right away. Think of it as a nickname for your apps and commands, and it can be as short as just one letter. You can add shortcuts to almost anything that you find in the root search, like commands, system settings, and applications. It's one of those things that takes a bit of time getting used to. You gotta work on your mental model, but it saves you so much time in the long run. You will never want to open the start menu again. Now it's time to learn about some special core commands that come inside the box with Raycast and can be super useful. There's the search, emoji and symbols commands, which like everything with Raycast, you can launch from anywhere in your system. You can add a hotkey to it, like the Windows key and a period, and make it your default emoji picker for everything, which is what I do. You can also search emojis really quickly and also edit keywords and pin them. In settings, you can take a step further and configure the grid size and skin color. One cool thing is that if you don't find the result you're looking for, you can press tab to use a more intelligent AI-based emoji search. One of the most powerful and my personal favorite built-in Raycast command is the clipboard history. Everything that you've copied is stored in it. So you can just forget about having to recopy something again later in the day. Just open Raycast, search for clipboard history, and you'll find it right there. Bits of text, images, screenshots, links, addresses. It's a great mindset shift to stop worrying about losing what you copied earlier because you know it would just be there. I highly recommend setting a hotkey for this command because you're going to use it so often. Something like Control Shift V or Control Alt V so you can associate it with the paste action that you're already used to. We've recently posted a comprehensive clipboard history tutorial for macOS, but I think pretty much all of it applies for Windows too, so make sure to give it a watch. Also built into Raycast are quick links. Think of them like universal bookmarks, like what you have in your browser, but they're not limited to just web pages. You can save a website as a quick link, but also you can add a link to a folder in File Explorer, or even a file that you wanna have quick access to that maybe has a weird name you never remember. Just search for create quick link to create one, and then they will show up right there in the root search. With Raycast, you can also create snippets, which are basically chunks of text that are always in reach that you can use at any time. We're going to publish a complete tutorial for snippets on Windows soon, so make sure to subscribe. But in a nutshell, you can create them with the create snippet command. And then to use them again, just open up Raycast and search for search snippets command and they can be emails document numbers email templates code snippets you name it you can filter through them with tags as well which is new to raycast for windows all right this pretty much covers all of the basics there's just two more things that we should cover in this guide and always remember there's no right or wrong way to use raycast or too much or too little if there's one feature that you like that you can't live without, like me with clipboard history, then just use clipboard history. We're happy to have you. So let's talk about enhancing Raycast with extensions and AI. Raycast has a really powerful extension API, which enables developers to create their own and make Raycast even more powerful and have it connect to third-party apps. And then developers can publish these extensions to the store so anybody can install them. All extensions are free to install and use, and you can start browsing them by searching for the store commands in Raycast. There's an extension to search for GIFs, to manage your GitHub account, one to control Spotify even, and many, many more. I highly recommend that you browse the extension store and install some to test it out.
And last but not least, AI is a big part of Raycast for iOS. And as of right now, we have a little taste of it available for all Windows users. To access it, all you have to do is launch Raycast using your Raycast hotkey and press tab. It's a great way to ask quick questions from anywhere on your system without having to switch context from whatever you were doing. Raycast for Windows is currently in open beta, which means anybody can download it and install it to try it out. It's free now and will remain free forever even after the beta phase. For some features like the whole AI experience and Cloud Sync, which are both coming later in the year, a Raycast Pro subscription is required. Porting Raycast to Windows really represents a new start for us, and I hope it will feel like a new start for you too when you try it. Check out this ad campaign we just put out to celebrate the release right here. I hope this getting started video has been helpful and don't hesitate to drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below. We do read the comments and the team will come to help clarify anything. And don't forget to subscribe for more news and updates about Raycast.